my loves. It's been more than a hot minute since I did a book review with you. And I mean, <laughs> maybe like a year. So today we are going to be talking about Gabby Bernstein's latest release, Happy Days, The Guided Path from Trauma to Profound Freedom and Inner Peace. Let's find out if this book is for you. Oh, the answer is it's for everybody, but how it can really help you on your spiritual and manifesting journey. Hello, my loves. It's me, Miss Manifesta, but you can just call me Esther. I'm sending you all blessings whenever you are watching this. If you're new to this channel, I'm a manifestation coach helping you to reprogram your subconscious so that you believe what it is you want to create in this lifetime is possible for you. And as a result, manifest all the amazing things that you want. Daphne, are you coming up? Oh, Daphne's coming to say hello. Hello, you're such a scruff bag. And Bobo's come up too. Hello, hello. I'm not going to let you kiss me. Nope. Okay, guys, so I'm going to read you a bedtime story. Okay, so I have never done a Gabby Bernstein book review on this channel before, but I have listened to... Oh, I have listened to Judgment Detox, The Universe Has Your Back, and Super Attractor, and I absolutely love them. First thing I'm going to say, and this is something I would say for all of Gabby's books, I would recommend getting the hard copy, like the print copy. I love her audibles. Um, I find her very easy to listen to. She's got a lovely voice for audible. It must sound like I'm just like <sighs> crawling up Gabby's backside right now, but I really don't have anything like negative to say. <laughs> but she puts a lot of like tools, meditations, prayers into her books. So I think if you get the hard copy, it's just much, much easier for you to just jump back in and dive in wherever to put little markers in like these kind of things just so it's really easy for you to pick up so that's the first thing that I would say the second thing is that she does just that she provides a lot of tools and resources alongside the book so you don't just get the book you will always get things like meditations um EFT tapping sequences she's done as well uh so it's great because there is a link uh, alongside all of these books um to whatever she creates that supports the text itself so that you're actually doing the inner work alongside. It's not just about the theory. And I am all about that, like having the tools and the resources, not just the theory, but those practices that actually help you deepen your spiritual connection to come into a place of alignment and to embody the energy that you want to be. The next thing I'm gonna say is this is very different to Gabby's other books. This book is takes her vulnerability to a new level. One of the things that I love about Gabby is that she is not afraid to tell you of how she is triggered. She is not afraid to be raw and vulnerable with you. It makes you realize that A, you're not alone in your thoughts, your patterns, and that she's not pretending to be some sort of holier than holy guru who doesn't have like the same emotional responses to us sometimes. You know, there's been moments particularly in like, past books, not so much this one, but in past books where she's talked about her triggers and I've been like, damn, like I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of Gabby Bernstein if she's having one of those moments because it's it's real and it's raw and it's honest and she's not pretending to be anything that she isn't. The other thing that I think is amazing when you look at this book and just her journey in general, that she has had trauma she has had like a completely dysregulated nervous system. She had, had trauma that she wasn't even aware of. And she still manifested being the Gabby Bernstein that we know her as today. It wasn't that she felt like she had to do all the cleanup. She had to be perfect. She had to be completely trauma free before she could you know, create amazing things in this world. And that is the same message that I will give to all of you. And I've said a million times till I'm blue in the face, you can be going through tough times. You can have trauma. We all have trauma, which I'll come to in a minute. We can all have this going on and we can still manifest. You are still worthy of being blessed now. It's not about you becoming just completely free and feeling like you need to be fixed. 
and that you will only get what you want when you've when you've done like every piece of inner work because what she's showing you here is that the inner work is ongoing it's still ongoing i'm sure it's still ongoing for gabby um and she's committed to it and that's all that you need is just self-compassion to observe yourself and to move forward and really for me that's who this book is for you know trauma with a big T or a little T, there's two different categories, but everybody has got trauma. Everybody has has experienced something, um, whether it's, you know, just being bullied or a parent making a very throwaway comment. But if we weren't emotionally equipped or mature enough, however you want to like phrase that, if we weren't resourced enough to take on that experience or that comment, then it, it does manifest as trauma within us. And that then obviously affects how we show up in this world. And particularly if the trauma is stored, that's when we can end up with things like chronic pain conditions. And, um, you know, our body is letting us know our body keeps a score and lets us know sometimes that there is, you know, trauma in the body and it's being stored as energy and manifesting as pain. So this is really for anybody who has an awareness that they have triggers, that they may have fears, that they have inner, inner work to do. And I think what Gabby really does here is, excuse me, what was that noise? Look at the side eye. Well, it was very rude, you yawned. What Gabby does is gives you hope. She's not saying to you, I'm going to cure all your trauma and you're gonna read this book and you're just gonna walk out the door and be free of everything. What she lets you see is her journey and she gives you that hope to know that you can achieve the same thing and she gives you a lot of tools a lot of resources a lot of seeds and like arrows of direction of, of areas that you can you could go towards that could help you with that like i'm not expressing myself very well here today <laughs> I think the PMS is starting to come on. What she's doing is she's really planting seeds to um, send you on your own trauma healing path. One of the other things that Gabby does very well with this book is she doesn't pretend that she is necessarily overqualified or that she is qualified to help you through all aspects of this. I definitely know that she's got some level of um, qualification and expertise um, and she's obviously had a lot of wonderful guidance and support to write this book but i actually joined in for some of her live event that she did for the um happy days book launch and certain things would come up with the audience and what she does amazingly is holds that person with compassion but she doesn't overstep the mark and that's so important from an integrity angle because the coaching industry is full of people that are going around doing more damage than good, unpacking things with people that shouldn't be unpacked. So um, she does a very, very good job of being able to hold the space with this book and in person that she knows that she can hold without kind of overgoing. So that's to me, that's very important. And I think for a lot of people, um, they like to know that when we're working with trauma, they want to know that, that that person has that integrity. I will be honest and say the book is quite activating. So there are exercises in this book that are gonna get you to look at your triggers that may bring stuff up for you. But what, again, she always does is points you in the direction of extra support, mental health support um, that you might need. I did join the live event for Happy Days and was thoroughly enjoying it. But like during some of the processes just found uh, found as Gabby calls it those protector parts and what it is that we run towards and kind of realized what I'd been running towards for quite some time if not certainly that week it was it was very very evident and I just thought you know what actually I just need to go and really honor my inner child right now so I jumped off but um I want to just say thank you Gabby for holding that space for me for as long as I was there um but yes, she will always say to you, do what you feel capable of doing, feel, do what you feel resourced enough to do. And you don't have to push yourself um, ahead of um, time, as it were, like take it at your pace, do what feels comfortable. 
Um, and she just really holds that space in the book, certainly with a lot of compassion that people will not necessarily be, maybe be ready to start the practices yet and maybe just want to read the book and then go back to the practices after. My camera is stressing me out so badly. <laughs> Keeps telling me it's full and I'm like, I've deleted so much stuff already. Just to wrap up, Gabby says herself, this is not her typical book. And maybe you might look at the cover of this and the content and think, this doesn't sound very spiritual. But being able to embrace all those parts of ourselves, seeing ourselves through um, the compassionate trauma lens that we are not our experiences. Yes, we've experienced it. Yes, this is what we've lived so far, but none of it defines us. But being able to observe those parts of ourselves that need to be loved with love, that is spiritual. Being a human is spiritual. Having this experience is spiritual. You brushing your hair, that is spiritual. Being in a human body, doing all of these things and living life, that is our spiritual journey. Not just when we say, let's pick up the crystals and the inner work, like all of it is spiritual. And the reason why I think this book is important and why I would recommend it is because it's about bringing you to a place of safety. And one of the reasons why we might struggle to manifest things is because we don't feel safe to receive them or we don't feel worthy to receive them. And doing this kind of inner work is what releases that resistance and brings us into that place of love and alignment so that we can go forward and create our best lives. This is important work. And I think that we've been very conditioned to be like, if it's not a positive thought, don't go there because you don't wanna manifest negative stuff. But being able to observe everything with love is absolutely fine. And you have total permission to do that. You do not have to shun away your feelings because what you resist persists and it only stays as trapped energy in the body. So yes, it's scary. Yes, it may feel contradictory to what you have been taught, but doing this work is very, very important. And I'm just really glad to see, I'm reading another book at the moment, similar theme, just books that are coming out that are reinforcing that, that it is important to um, look at our patterns and our thoughts and to work on our inner healing rather than to just uh, feel a sense of shame for the things that we label as negative or that we don't want in our reality. They will dissipate in the light of love when we are able to observe ourselves through that trauma lens. I would thoroughly recommend it. I'll pop a link below so you guys can go and shop it for yourself. Um, let me know if you've read any of Gabby's other books and which ones you enjoy. I do think um, Super Attractor and Universe Has Your Back are my favorites, but this was particularly powerful. And I just honor you, and I'm sure Gabby would say the same, honor you for even being brave enough to say, I'm ready to read this, ready to look at my, you know, my triggers, my, you know, trauma. Um, a lot of people don't even like the word trauma, but being just ready to honor all parts of ourselves as we go forward in returning to love. Guys, I'm sending you so many blessings wherever you are in the world. Take care and I will see you next week when I will be showing you my little Glastonbury road trip. So I did something a little bit different and just vlogged me going on a little uh, spiritual day out. So I hope you look forward to that and I will see you all soon. Bye.